Uh, g'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonsai Works, I'm David. Yes, it's a lovely Shinpeku Juniper here that I've got. Um, it's not my tree. Uh, I've got a client of mine who, um, who I've been working with and he's asked me to have a look at refining this tree and making it better. Now, I mean, to a lot of people, when you look at this tree, you go, wow, it's just beautiful. It's a, why, why change it? Why, why do anything to it? Why, um, why work on it? Why restyle it, etc.? Um, it's when you actually have a closer look at the tree, um, you'll see the why it needs to actually be properly um, done. Um, a lot of these branches have created little powder puffs of, of clouds and foliage and, and so on, so you can... Um, you want to try and improve that, I guess. It's not as, um, when you have a closer look, you'll see that there's parts in this tree that are uh, hidden, that could could be better. There's parts of this tree that are really good, you want to enhance it. There's parts of this tree that are not the best and you want to improve it. So, all these little things that we can look at to make this tree even better. Um, you can see some of the foliage, I mean, you see that lot of that branch, for example, doesn't give it that dimension of really old because it just kind of goes upwards like this. Like if that came down and then had just the tips coming up, it would look a lot better. In terms of dimensions, you know, looking side on, it's a very side on tree, which is good. It's, it's, it's good in that sense, but a lot of these, these front tree, front branches aren't coming you forward and hugging you uh, and coming forward. I've got a branch here that's right in your eye, you know, but it's trying to, it's kind of hidden, but, it, but when you have a closer look, you'll see it, you know, it's in your eye. So there's something around, maybe something to do with that. Then I've got another big, nice branch towards the back, but it's a brilliant branch that if you bring it forward, could actually enhance the tree even more, you know, just make it that, that much better. So you look at, you look at, the great things, great nabari, great trunk, uh, beautiful old tree, good, good, good branches, etc. Um, there's not much on the inside of a lot of these branches, not much foliage on the inside of the branches. So, but it is back budding quite nicely. So you never know in the future, you could, could, you know, bring the tree in a little bit more. Um, but well, a couple of things, this this eye poking branch is a bit of a problem. I want to try and get this branch as a branch behind it, behind it over here with this foliage here that I want to bring it right around into and bring it into this frontage, frontage part. A lot, of the, a lot of these bigger heavy branches need to be wired and brought around and pads created. So what I've noticed when you look at this tree you'll see that what happens is there's, there's foliage like this then there's foliage straight up that Cretron puts a pad up here. Now it doesn't, it kind of is deceptive in the sense that this tree looks nice and full and clouds and beautiful foliage because of that, you know, it's, it's actually gone, you know, beautiful, nice foliage like that. You didn't create layers. You know, I like to create a layer, 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 layer. What it's done is put up one like this, then put one up like this and put it in here. It's like I make a little puff of foliage. So things like that need to be enhanced. And one of the main problems though, is this apex in here, the, the top of this tree in here. Now, you can probably just see it. It's, it's about this big, there's actually no foliage. And it's straight as a straight as a rod, um, and then there's a big head of helmet, helmet, big helmet head right up here. That's probably the biggest issue that I want to deal with. Um, if I can bring that, if I can put a bit of a bend in that and bring it forward. Now it's going to be tough, but I, I want to bring it forward and down, and then wire out the branches. Um, it will improve the tree dramatically. So it's a big job. A lot of it's pretty much all wiring. Uh, hardly anything removed, to be honest. There's not not a huge amount to be removed. I'm considering removing this branch, and that's probably it. And I'm keeping everything else kind of thing. It'd be nice to get rid of this and have a little gin, and then put a bit of a shari down the trunk as well. You know, nice, nice, big, get, give it a good look. You know, person's looking in right now will see this eye jarring branch right here in front of you. Doesn't get to see the trunk, the beautiful trunk movement. You can see this bit, but if it gets to about here, you've got this eye poking branch in, in you. I mean, I could move it this way, but it's still coming straight out of the middle of the trunk. Um, I'm leaving this as the front for now. It is the best angle. Uh, everywhere else I look would have to be a massive amount of work to improve the tree, which it doesn't need it. So it's a really nice front. The bar is great. Trunk move is great. Um, really nice fat base. Yeah, and it just need those slight tweaks, but full on wiring job. Full, you know, full restyle in terms of wiring. Um, 
But as always, what we do, we start to wire the lowest branches first. So I'm going to start with this guy and get him to come around. Um, and then layer, layer this branch on top of it. So there's a really big branch in here and another branch in here. And we can just do the layering effect. It will look like you just look at this big section and it just looks like one huge big cloud of foliage. It looks great, but it's not um, sustainable. You know, it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to maintain that because it's just going to look, it's going to get worse and worse internally. What's going to happen to this tree um, if you keep it like that? Like you got, you don't want to have whirl, whirls of, you know, branches from the one spot, like five in one, from coming out from one spot. It's just not going to be sustainable for the tree. So little things like that. I know I've talked a lot, but I want to explain some of the things about this tree first before I go into it. Because really it's just wiring now and it's wiring. <laughs> it's simple as that. Wiring and positioning branches, um, creating more more um, streamlined shape, you know, less slips of this puffy foliage uh, and we'll see what comes up. And wish me luck. It's going to be many hours of work. Um, so we'll see how we go. Thanks. All right, everyone. So I'll give you an update on how we're going. You will probably can definitely see that this area here has been wired and a much more refined and detailed wiring's happened. All that wiring's been done. That whole bushy section has been wired down and fanned out. So <clears throat> with junipers, with chimpaku, if you clean out the crotch growth, so when, when a little bit of growth grows in between the two crotches, anything that goes down, anything that goes straight up, once you clear those out and then you fan them out and you wire them down and you just raise the little tips, just raise the little tips, that's the, that's the shape you create. So <clears throat> I've just done that first branch and you can see how it's all wired down now. Everything else looks a mess, but it's all wired down and in position. Now they need to fill out. But it's given them it's given this tree now the, the the opportunity to fill out in the right way so filling out filling out fill out those pads in the right areas rather than just big um, pom-poms so another little trick so you if you can see this why this branch down here is actually it's actually probably it's a very long branch it's only got a bit of foliage just on this end here hopefully um not too far away but there's just a bit of foliage in this section a bit bare there so what I do is I take the next branch and I move this branch over here and fill in that gap here. Trying to fill in this little area just for now so it can actually fill out. So that's creating, and you can probably see the clean lines underneath most of the branches. You'll see nice clear lines and, and, and fanned out shape. So pretty much fans out. So because this branch was didn't have much there, I put this branch into this section to cover that hole. Um, and then you can see how this has almost got a little bit of an apex at the top of it, but it's creating a nice stepped approach. So that's that's that first branch done. <laughs> Quite a lot of work there, actually, to be honest. Um, a lot of wiring, a lot of detail wiring. Um, every pretty much every branch has been wired in that little section. So we just once we set that first branch, now we can work the way, work the rest of the tree based on that first branch. Um, and that, that's how you go about it. I mean, I'll have a video, a few videos on my channel around how to create pads and things like that. So they're there anyway. So we'll just keep moving along. Um, now, <coughs> I want to try and get this branch, as I said, around to here. But I might, I might clean up that back branch, which is a bit of a boring work, but it needs a back branch. There's a back branch there, which when I get into position, I think. Um, and then we'll work, look at these two. These two are the hardest. I want to get this round and I have, probably have to remove this branch. So we'll have a look at that when we want to do it. So some changes have happened. Um, finish that one on the right, on, on that left for you. Now I have completed a lot of the, a lot of the back lower branch. You can see that now. That's now set in place. The other thing that I've done is, you can see now there's huge gaps between the next ones. And that's what you wanted to do to try and pull branches down and fill in the void. By doing the lower branches first, you open these gaps up so you can actually work and bring these down and it makes it much easier. Now, one of the big changes I'm trying to do is this branch here, which was more towards the back. Now I've put, I've used a couple of guy wires and I finally had one only on there now. I'm trying to pull it around so it's more coming towards the front because <clears throat> I want to ultimately use that as my lowest 
lowest branch into into um, on this tree. So it's pretty much there, and it's just now the main trunk's been wired. It's guy wired to the root, um, and I've got some heavy wire in there just holding it in place. Now I'll do all the wiring for this branch, and then that means we can have a look at eliminating this branch now. But did you see the process? Because I wasn't sure. Can we eliminate this? It's in the way, and so on, so on. Can I move this big one? Can I move this big one around? Yes, I can. Now let's let's fully wire that out, put it in place, and then we'll see how this whether this can be used or not. I don't think it can be, um, but you know we'll see. But I think that that will not ultimately be a gin. Um, but you see what I'm trying to get to. It's actually quite. You know, there's met methods to the madness. You got to go through it slowly. Work on the lower branches that you're certain of first. Work your way through. Create all the pads that you need. So if, for pads, as, as you've seen in my other videos, you fan them out, pull the pull the branch, let the tips come up a little bit, and away you go. The only branches I've really eliminated are weak branches, crotch growth. There hasn't been much, you know, like huge amount of trimming. Yeah, yeah foliage has come off to, to, to make the make, you know, the undergrowth, anything growing down has come off, things like that. So that's the kind of foliage that's been removed. So we've done pretty much the lower half and waiting on this waiting on this branch and then we'll keep going. So that's the process. Guy wire that branch, even though I've got a heavy heavy wire on it, the guy wire pulls it right around. The, the heavy wire kind of holds it in, holds the branch in place without letting it split, so you don't need to use raffia. Um, and, then, and then away we go. So lots of now I just got to wipe all this out, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so, so it's a step-by-step -step process showing you along the way. This this whole branch in here has all been fully wired. Now I'll twist it around to you guys, so you can see the layers I've created on that branch. And I'll tweak it a little bit more, just have cleaner lines, but. You get how it's all been pushed down and a layered approach and now there's a top kind of three layers you can see that three layer approach as one branch and we we're able to maneuver things around and push things around and put them into place but now there's a huge gap in here which is fine because we'll bring this one down into this gap and start to create the tree but that's pretty much all the lower branches done and now i've got this big guy in the front now this is the problem branch um, i haven't taken it off yet but I'm planning, to, I'm planning to remove that, but I'll do it on camera just so you guys can see it when I'm ready. Um, what I want to actually do is try and place some other branches first before I ultimately get rid of that. Um, I'm just, yeah, I haven't taken it off just because I just want to see, make sure that the other branches will fill in these gaps and we should be okay, which 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 you should be. But always, it's not my tree, it's a client's tree. Just want to be cautious and make sure we get rid of that. Probably the hardest job coming up is the apex up here because you'll see once I lower all these middle branches there's this huge space about that long that's bare of any branches and we're going to have to figure out what we're going to do with that. Um, it should be fine, uh, we have plans, we've got a plan for it but uh, we'll see how we can execute it. But that's all the lower branches done apart barring this one in the front. Now you can probably see the one behind me there in that, in that spot there down here but I'll just have to tweak a few things I think some of the branches have just dropped a little bit but we'll just wire them back up but there you go I did say I was gonna leave this in me this face pointing branch for now but I'm gonna remove it and now don't these things happen and um, I just put a wire on it just to get out of it out of the way but I'm gonna take this off oh, it's gone and now you can see the trunk line much more interesting do you see that but I had to remove this much so there you go but much more better now I can I'll see the whole tree I will create a nice gin with this and probably run a little shari down down the trunk here just a little one not all the way but just a little one um, and then maybe build that over the over time build it all on it over the time so there you go sometimes you need to eliminate branches to create the space to, to make a better tree all right just one tip before I keep going, I wanted to show you guys something. Now, you can see the heavy wire on this branch and a heavy wire on this branch. So, I wired that, those two with one branch, one wire behind the trunk. Can you see that? Now, these, this heavy wire really won't bend this branch too much, or that branch even, right? The reason I put this is support as well, because I will guy wire these branches. So, having this wire here, I can able, I'm able to hook on, hook on a piece of wire down somewhere etc hook on a piece of wire here down maybe to the gin um, which I've created you can see that little gin there I haven't done the shower yet but I'll get there um, yeah, anyway put a little wire 
anchor it there and I can pull this down. And having that wire kind of supports the bark and keeps it nice and tight so it doesn't break the branch, things like that. So just a little tip, even though the heavy wire won't bend it, will bend a little bit, it's mainly there as a tourniquet almost to stop the branch breaking as well, but also to help me um, place, you know, guy wires onto it. All right, everyone, so I've made quite a bit of progress. Um, still not all finely positioned. A lot of those branches I keep getting, keep knocking, but I'll go back and revisit them. But you can probably work out that a lot of the wire, a lot of the branches from down here down have been wired and pushed down and fanned out. So give you a little spin. See how it's all fanned out nicely and positioned. Still got a bit of work to do in terms of um, areas that we need to fill. And you can probably see the, the, the area here, this trunk, there's a bit of a straight part here. You can see that, see that there pretty clearly. That's our main issue. Um, but the rest is going wrong really well. Then out of position of none of these, you can probably see the nice layers starting to happen. I'll bring in close-ups later, but I wanted to work, show you a bit more um, on how I go about it. See, you can probably see this branch hasn't been fully positioned. Um, this branch is quite nice and full. One thing I do is I fully wire a branch and then I position all the branches. So I put all the wire on, so I've put all the wire on and now I'll go about and actually put it all in position. I'll sit in front of it and go bang, 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 put it all in position. So what I'll do is I'll put the camera behind my shoulder, hopefully. Hopefully this will work uh, as I do it and I'll, and I'll actually show you the process of how I go about positioning these branches and so on. I know I've got done a video before on branching and how to, how to form them and making fans and all, all that stuff. It's one of my, it's actually on the top page of my YouTube channel so you can see pretty easily anyway. But this is another area. This is a nice long branch here that I'll show you. Not 100% sure how this is going to turn out but we'll see how we go. So I'm working on this branch at the moment. It's probably, you're probably just a little bit below eye level. I just want to get you up to eye level probably. Just still just a little bit below eye level but this is a very interesting branch. It's got a wide all the branches. Now because I'll probably try and angle it towards the front. Now I do want to form pad, clean pads on the moon. So I start with the lower one and I bring this guy a bit round more towards the front of the tree. And I position this guy pretty much alongside it. And I just try and tilt the anything going down I still pluck away. Anything I just try and tilt the little branches upwards. That I'll position. I don't know how that's on the camera, but you can see the nice line we're getting. This branch is from that one, so see the nice line we're getting under there? Looks a bit messy still, but um it's good. so oops. So I'm gonna get this one now here, hopefully I'm not in the way him it's very hard to do one end but just want to make sure I get the camera for you guys position him so he's trying to continue that line can is that line pretty clear yeah you can pretty see it see how I'm going positioning it I'll position that first so I keep going around there's another branch here not sure how that's looking in the camera see that I guess you can see that. So now, little trick, right, is um, I'll just show you a little bit up, hang on. So, if you see this branch here, it makes a nice little pad around here. Then I've got some of these lower uh, branches that are a bit further back. I can't really position them in there, so I'll position them just above this branch here. See how it's there? And it kind of creates another layer. It looks like there's a back budding that's in here and filling in that gap. All right, everyone, I just want to quickly share my plan with you for the top. So you can see that branch padded out, different layers. It's one branch, but all the branches are put into place. Now I'll do a really good, try and do a proper photograph session with this tree later. Now you can see my main issue. Now you can see it, right? That is so bare from from this from this branch here. It's bare all the way. I can put my whole hand around it. And what am I going to do? All right. 
One of the things towards the top here, it starts to go backwards. And that's not what I want. I want it to go forwards. The good news is this branch has kind of nicely padded out this section. So we need to kind of fill in this section. I do believe this tree needs a planting angle change, slight planting angle change, just a little bit too much this way. I'm gonna to have, to, have to lift it a little bit from this end and, and get, it, get it straightened out. So my plan is to actually try and bend this forward, forward, a little bit forward and into this spot here. It will need a planting angle change, probably has to go that way a little bit and a little bit backwards. So by going a little bit backwards, tilting the tree back, this becomes more, because I'm going forward with it, I'm trying to counteract it by going backwards. I hope that makes sense. So I think a little tilt up from this end, a little tilt back, and then I can wire this into this position, try and try to bend it a little bit. Good news is all these branches are nice and flexible, so no problem getting them down and in and filling in a gap. I've just got to be able to bring it a little bit forward because that whole back, it's a whole back branch out back here that just needs to come forward slightly. So you can see if I do that, it starts to come forward. Don't know how it's going to look, but we're going to give it a crack. Hopefully it doesn't crack, but we're going to give it a crack to try and get it down and at least a little bit into this area. Tricky thing is, where am I going to go I wire it to? I'm going to always put heavy wire on it anyway, just to protect the bark. And we're going to try and push it in place. But it might look a little bit silly at the start because it's too far forward. But by planting the angle change, it should improve it a lot. And that'll be another step. Not, not for today, but in, in the future we can change the planting angle. I think the tree's coming on really well. I'd like to get a proper video and photo of this with a good background to just finalise it. But let's get stuck into this. It's a huge head, like a helmet. But you can see it's got the layers, it just needs to be all brought down. But once we set this into position. All right, everyone, so just quickly I wanted to show you what's kind of happening. Um, I've done all my heavy wiring at the top here. So I put all my heavy wires on that I needed to for all the branches. The reason I did that is once I guy wire it, I'm not gonna be able to put, once I can put a guy wire on, which I've done here, probably see it um you're not going to be able to put the wire on around the trunk and around the branches so now i've only got fine wiring to do later on so now i put my guy wire now can you i don't know if you can see there's a guy wire running from the heavy wire at the top that i placed um to the to the gin down here a bit hard to see but the gin down here now ideally it'd be great if you had two people to do this job one could be pulling down the branch and the other one using Gin plies to tie it to, to twist the to twist the um, to twist the guy wire. You have to use well, you should use copper um, to do guy wiring because you're going to be really twisting twisting the, um, the the wire so much that copper won't snap or very very hard to snap it by doing that technique. But this is a slow process where I'm going to gradually pull down this top into bring it forward and, and shorten the shorten the gap. So. There's a large gap in here. I want to try and get it in and fill it a little bit. Um, I still think it might be too tall, this tree, to be honest. But we're going to try and work through, work with all the branches that we've got. You can see quite a bit of a head still on it. Um, but we're going to try our best to, to shorten it. By bringing it forward, we'll shorten it, wire out the branches, flatten them out, and hopefully we can make a nice top. So if you've got two people, it'd be awesome. But if you've got one person, you just gradually use you know, gradually use one arm, one hand to pull, the other hand to to, to tighten. Then you just slowly go about it. This could take, you know, this could take a couple of days even. Um, you do a bit, you do a bit, you do, you know, you bring it down a bit and then down a bit more until you're happy. Sometimes you just let the, let the trunk rest before you get going. So this is just, just want to show you that that's how I go about it. I pull my heavy wire on so they're not for my guy wire because once you get the guy wire on you can't really wire around it anymore so you're kind of stuck so anyway i'll just be cranking that down and trying to bring it down closer to the trunk i right, just quick progress update slowly coming down um just gradually 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 i'm giving it a little bit of a rest at the moment um I'm just trying to pull that down quite a bit um it's just a gradual yeah slow process make sure um you're prepared Make sure you've got heavy wire on it so it doesn't snap. Listen out for any cracking, creaking, or anything like that just in case. But yeah, definitely starting to come down. Um, and you can see some of these branches are getting a bit lower. I probably want a little bit more 
crank down. We're almost there though, so it's good. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Um, now that the guy wire is established, it's nice and tight on the, on the gin, should be good to finish it off. So it probably doesn't look like much right now, but I'm pretty happy with where I've got it. It's got a nice bend, slight bend in the trunk now. I don't know if you see that bend. It's not too bad at all. Now it's just a matter of all refining that top and bringing it down and creating your apex. So probably another couple, maybe an hour or so work, a bit more, to really wire all that up and then it'll be done. And then I've got to go back and clean up all these pads again just because I've been wiring and knocking them and etc. So just go back and tidy up and we'll have a look, better look at this tree once it's finished. So everyone, here is what the tree looks like um, at this point in time. It's pretty much fully wired. I have tried to clean up as much as I can underneath all the branches, getting them really nice lines, etc. Uh, and still need a little bit more to go, but um, you can see the structure of the tree now. It looks a bit more grandeur, looks a bit more interesting. The, the, the top is a little bit too much this way, but I think eventually we'll be able to thin it back and push it back the other way just to make it more straighter. It's a little bit tall, but I think it might be just the camera angle. Um, that's a bit out of whack. I want to show you there's a plenty angle change. You can see the pot, how it's tilted. I've got a little bit of a, um, a, a wood stop in there to, to hold it up a bit more. Yes, I've got to clean up a bit more of the, the lines, but you know that's only small things to do. Um, I think it's come along really nicely from what it, what it was started as, um, which I'll throw back to now in the picture. So you can see how before it was very paddy and very cloud shaped, now it's more refined and allowing the light to come in, allowing you to see through, allowing the birds to fly. fly. Now, yeah, there's a few areas I just might want to tweak and bring down, a few little gaps here and there, but um, I think I think it's just going to need to gradually um, fill out now, but it's going to fill out in the right way. Before it wasn't going to fill out in the right way and the tree would have deteriorated a lot more. Now it's opened up, all the, all the branches are fanned out so all the sun can get in um, and really bring the tree along. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to see if it will do a twist spin. It's a little bit tricky. We'll try it. So trying to bring the, the camera up a little bit, um, just trying to change the angle so you can see the different uh, levels and so on. You can see the top looks a bit better when it's viewed a bit higher. So you want to try and view right into there, into the tree, um, to see the, to the level when you're looking at it. Um, other things are mm, huge amount of wiring, huge amount of time to get that all wired. Um, yes. You know, it, it does take time and does take effort and you'll always be plucking things that are growing down. Uh, which I always do. Um, the the gin and shari, I just tried to get a small little one. I didn't do, I didn't extend it too much because I want to see what it does in terms of normal dieback and normal um, um, deadwood. So I guess really the the sad thing is um, I've got to give this tree back to my client. <laughs> I've really enjoyed working on it. You don't get a chance to work on such quality trees and have someone entrust you with it. I think um, I think it looks really nice. I'd love to have this in my collection, but no, what a shame. Going back home to its client. He hasn't, he hasn't seen what it looks like yet. Haven't shared it with him, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. Um, maybe we'll do a follow-up on his reaction, um, and I'll let you know how, it, how it's all gone. But there you go, guys. I hope you, uh, you enjoyed this video. The techniques and so on, pretty, I've, I've done a lot of those videos before, the techniques of creating fans and cleaning up juniper foliage. Um, so I've done a lot of that before, but same principles, same thing over and over again. Um, 15 to 20 hours worth of wiring to get this tree done, probably a bit more, uh, um, but yeah, looking great. Anyway guys, appreciate any comments, um, you know, ask questions etc in the comments below, I'm happy to answer them. And thanks again for watching and hope you enjoyed this tree. See you soon.